morning everyone. Today I'm going to show you uh, Centenary Square. Now it's a very very historic place again. Like it, you walk around Birmingham there's tons of things to see and includes the library and the iconic uh, memorial for fallen soldiers. So we'll walk around this part here. We'll start to the right. So this is Baskerville House. And there's a big statue here. Let's go see what that's all about. They have the, uh, the woman bearing breasts. It says, Peace. Edward VII. Uh, 10001 to, or is it 1901 to 1910? I don't know. Is it one? No. Yeah, 1901 to 1910. Nine years. He doesn't look nine years old. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll do some research or if you can comment below and education in progress. Don't know exactly what that is. But here it came for, what caught my eye was the uh, library, like the way it's designed. And there they also have the uh, ice skate for, um, you know, the time during the winter festival. Similar, they have one in Wexford, which I plan to go see in a little bit, maybe during the Christmas break. And then, wow, it's nice looking around. Look at the library, look at the unique building. I think that might be a bit of a thumbnail here. Let's see if I can do it. Hold it back there. There's the Baskerville House. And then it looks like a big couple of parcels, like for Christmas time. I don't know. Obviously, it's not because it goes around all year, but don't know exactly the meaning behind it. But it very jumps out at you. Um, there's the Sympathy Hall. And there you see we have Ferris wheel. And then there's some little swings in the background as well. And there's the ice rink here. Very good. And there's, there's even like a place where you can get something to eat up top. And place to change. What's this? There's a tennis table, a ping pong table in the middle, surrounding this. Guys, come on! Very interesting building. And there's the ice box. So that's where you buy your tickets. Hey, hola. They were staying at the hostel, same hostel as myself. So Sympathy Hall, and here's another part, the rep. So there's plays and stuff in that. So it's right, it's, sort of, it's like a cultural uh, experience here. So you have the Sympathy, you have plays, you have the library, and then, and then also there's the uh, Exchange, University of Birmingham. I wonder what that's all about. And then they have the memorial for the uh, fallen soldiers. I wonder how much it is for the big wheel. Let's see how much it is. Maybe we'll take a run up and see what it's like. Hey here. Eight pounds. Hi, how's it going? Hello, hi. Well, give it one, yeah, give it a shot, yeah. See what it's like. Cash, cash, please. We put the cash in the machine on the top the side. Alrighty. Yep, top here. Oh, very cool. Very good. Very modern. This way, Ern. Thank you. That was pretty good. Pretty handy. Very, uh, gosh, look at that building in the background. 
looks like a whole bunch of uh, red crosses. And here's the wheel itself. So we'll get a, a nice view of the whole city, I guess, when we're up there. So it was eight pounds for an adult. And there's children's fairs and stuff. So we'll give it a shot. You can definitely go high up there. You get to see the view of the library, the ice rink, and the whole city. So we'll see what it's like when we get up there. You having a good day? Yeah. So far? You do? I'll see you back. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Should get a view of the city anyways. No, it's really nice up there, yeah. honestly. The weather's lucky. Yeah, genuinely. Yeah, it's important during December. Yeah. It's not too bad. Huh? Okay. Now we're going to get on to this thing. Just that piece? Yep. No problem. Here we go. Thank you. So we're gonna go see what this looks like getting up there high up of Birmingham City. Maybe we get some beautiful views of there, especially with the sun. Yeah, eh? Looking forward to it, thanks. So we're gonna have some great views. See Birmingham. So had a little bit of letdown of the back-to-back uh, -back tours, but all in all, Birmingham's a great place. We, you know, we've seen the Christmas markets. We got the Chinatown coming up. We have all the squares with the hostel coming over here. And it's a beautiful city and well worth the uh, the time. Like I said, my hostel, although the area looks a little bit Dutch, it's actually quite nice inside and can't fault anything that they do there so even uh, they they actually had breakfast for us which was like you know toast and fruits and coffees and teas and that coffee I have to admit is a bit rank the teas were fine but the coffee uh, coffee was just instant coffee in that so but hey I wasn't expecting it after uh, we'd see the tour of the city and that I'll probably uh, look at getting something to eat so we'll see where we're gonna dabble and get some mix, some tasty uh, eats for uh, lunchtime. And here we go. I can feel it in the air. It's getting colder, but yet so warm. Before we know it, it's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. This year. See all around you, there's the Symphony Hall, the Convention Center, I didn't see that, so the Convention Center beside the rep. And there's the Memorial. And then the library, you can see the whole library. See, there's a seating area on top of the library. So you can sit out, have a coffee. There's the rest of the city. My hostel will be some way down there, I guess. <clears throat> There's the boring building with the circle. You can sort of see the uh, that funny shape with all the little circles that way. So I guess that means my uh, hostel will be down that way, actually. I guess they have to stop every few seconds to let people in and out. Yeah, it does stop quite a bit. 
That'd be the only drawback if I'd say it's not really a ride to beat your thrills up, it's more just a visual ride to see what's around you. Oh, I switched sides. Let's see what this side is. So now I'm facing the library. Here's the uh, structure behind us. And then right by the rip. It's in the hall. Here's the uh, swings, and there's another type of uh, fast one. I've seen people on the swings are you know, all screaming their life. So we'll see this side of you. What's it look like? This side of the, uh, the ride. So I have to say, with the enclosed glass frames there, they uh, keep the wind out of here. So it's actually enjoyable to go around. And there is, we get a good, good view of the, uh, the library. Right there, that's probably the best view right there. And you can see right into it. all the different levels it has. Pounds? Is it worth it? Ah, it's all right. Fiverr would have probably been more in tune to it, but uh, I'm sure it's expensive to maintain and run the insurance and that. So, as a once-off, eight pounds is not too bad. As I'm visiting the city for the first time, if I was a resident here all the time, you know, probably wouldn't be jumping on it all the time. Maybe once is enough. You can see people on the other rides. Energy, I'd say. But it seems to be going good. Like, this ride lasts quite a bit. So, for the eight pounds, I guess it's well worth it. So, here's you know, a different. Uh, you know, if you want an adrenaline rush, then you take those. If you want a scenic rush, you take this one. And if, if you want a combination, you just take them all. So, we'll continue on after we get off this to explore the rest of uh, Centenary Square. Okay, so, that was the ride finish. Now we're going to continue on the, uh, the tour of uh, Centenary Square. While up there, I was able to see the things that I might have missed. So here's one statue I seen. I didn't know. Let's see what this is. Julian Waring, the real Birmingham family, 2014. And. We'll head over here because I saw there, there's the iconic gold statue of the three members of uh, the Industrial Revolution of uh, Birmingham. Um, I'll put the three names. Well, we'll see it when we get there. But I'll give you a little hindsight of the historic significance. One invented the um, like mass producing of uh, toys. And he employed over a thousand people at a, a, a toy manufacturing. And then he got involved with someone else who had invented a press for coins, which was a huge um, turn of innovation. And then finally, an engine, which they used to even replace coal lights and gas lights and stuff. So there were three founding fathers of uh, the Industrial Revolution for Birmingham. So we'll take a look at that, it's this gold statue. You see it whenever Birmingham pops up on, uh, and you can see in the background here. Maybe it'll give us the little, I read up on it, so I was able to give you a little short synopsis, but maybe we'll get more. Well, we'll get their names in that either. Look at the gold men. Okay. The Golden Boys. Bolton. Murdoch and Watt. So Matthew Bolton, innovated uh, metalware manufacturer. Um, James Watt, the steam engine. And William Murdoch um, played a vital role in uh, success of businesses. So here's what they looked like in person. He's a grumpy old side, eh? So, Bolton and Watt invented the steam engine in 1792. And then, anti saber medallion. Okay. Take a look at this. So, Matthew Bolton, James Watt, and William Murr. Like I said, this is an iconic picture that you see all the time. 
when you're looking up on Google uh, Birmingham. Thumbnail maybe? Let's take a picture of my phone. Uh, the uh, sympathy, 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 sympathy. Jeez, help me with that. Puh. Sympathy Hall, followed by the convention center. This is like a really modern building. Now I know they have the waves in it to make it blend in a bit, but you know, I guess this is a wholly modern area because they're all different structures. Even the rep, which is where they have the plays on. And then the convention center is here. And then we'll work our way back towards the, uh, we'll finish off. So here's, like I said, the rep. And we'll finish off to the, uh, the monument. Okay, now we approach the last part of our tour of Centenary uh, Square. And this is the iconic memorial. I'll remember, remember it's, it's for the people that perished in the First World War. So we'll walk around the, uh, the structure itself. It's located right at this, this side of the uh, Centenary Square, close to where you come off from Victoria Square. Here's the building itself. It's, there's grass and uh, some shrubs around it. In the winter time, I don't know if they had flowers, but and the sailor. So the one side you had the the Air Force. Here's the sailor. And I guess here's one more. Let's go see what the plaque says. Here's obviously infantry with the machine gun, the Vickers cooled machine gun, the Hall of Memory. It's open from 10 to 6, Monday to Saturday. Okay, so it's Sunday today, so it's closed. But I think uh, we got to walk around the structure and hope you enjoyed the uh, the tour of uh, Centenary Square. I have to admit, it's one of the better ones. Like I said, the, um, the tour that we did of uh, Victoria Square is hard because it still has all the uh, German market in there and it's hard to actually see everything. But if you peel it away, like I said, any time of the year you come to uh, Birmingham, it's always accessible.